How are you all? How are you all doing? I'm in... Hang on. Just adjust that thing. I'm in Canyonland. This is in Utah. I've come out through Mexi uh, New Mexico, come right across New Mexico and come up the way. Right to the west side and then headed north <coughs> into a bit of Colorado. Just the bottom left hand side of Colorado. Nipped across. And now I'm in Utah. Which is Canyonland uh, National Park I'm coming through. Which is absolutely amazing. Let's not look at me. Let's look at this gear here we've got. What do you think of this? I've done this before. Uh, it didn't seem to get much feedback on it. I don't know, because I think I was using my telephone and it was a shit picture. But uh, we'll try again with this and see what you think. This is uh, really pretty. Coming all the way up here through New... When you get to upside, uh, west side of New, uh, New Mexico and then head up the way, it's nice. And you've got the Indian Reservation. Uh, um, and that's, that's pretty flat and interesting to see. Oh, uh, it's one of the biggest... The Navajo, one of the biggest Indian Reservations in, in America. George. It's a bit of an eye-opener. So I'm gonna wear... Uh, this goes up all to Salt Lake City. I'm about 300 miles down from Salt Lake City, I think, something like that, maybe less. 250, 300, I don't know. Uh, probably about four hours out of Vegas. So if you're gonna land in Vegas, this is definitely worth heading across, because you come across, you've got the needle view and all that malarkey here as well. You could come across and then head up towards Yellowstone as well, and get Yellowstone in, which... Uh, which would be a good one if you wanted to do Yellowstone, but to me Yellowstone's not it's okay, but I think there's better ones. This, I love this as much as I like uh, Zion, which is my favourite. But this is pretty goddamn cool, is this? I think you're all, all got to agree with me on this one. Just hope the camera takes in how absolutely amazing and pretty it is. see some amazing bits. I'm going to wear, uh, probably said amazing about 50 times now. I'm going to go for a hike when I get over the top here. Last time I was down here I didn't have much time and it started to spit with rain and what have you, so I didn't fancy that. But I'm going to get up over here. A lot of you touristy stuff here. Um, you're off-roaders, adventure guys. There's loads of trails. They love it out here. They love it to get out here. It's not like in England. Oh, no, you go in that national park. No, you go in that. No, no, no. Not in America. We like them petrol lids. You get out and enjoy that land. <laughs> Fucking ride on it. You've got separate ones for your horses, separate ones for your cars, separate for your bicycle. Or, or you've got all ones for all of them, you know, free for all. And it's all signpost. So, you know, if you want to just do an horse one, just do an horse one. If you want to do a car one, everything, you can, you can do the one. It's all there. Mudguards needed on the on the cars. Who needs a mudguard? Get on with it. And if you did do like up this way, flew into Vegas and then went up the way, you could take in Yellowstone. Then you can carry on across and go east a little bit, and you can get into um, Tabletop Mountain. Uh, is it Tabletop Mountain? The one of uh, Close Encounters of the Third Kind. And then you've got further up the way you can get over to. Do, to, do, to, to. Hang on. Uh, shit. No, not shit. To. Sturges and uh, Rapid City. 
Rapid City is the faces in the in the mountain, which I don't know the name of. I'm not pretty good at this, am I? Come on a bird and tour guy. He will tell you there's a thingy over there next to the thingy. And if you like that thingy, there's another thing that's like that pointy thing. There you go. This comes up to Mohad. Mohad's about, what am I, 50 mile from here. Yeah, about 40, 50 mile. So if you're wearing Mohad, Mohad and you want to go outdoor on an adventure, that's you're going to be your hub, where your hotels are. You know, some good restaurants, bars, and all that shit. All, all you can eat pizza place. You know, there's some uh, some good stuff going on in that little little village. It's touristy stuff, except for the tourists, obviously. I want to get out there and enjoy, so you can hire your your car, hire all your your off-roaders, your little quads, your motorbikes, your horses, your camels, whatever the shit you want. You know, everything's there. Maybe not camels, but anything you want, you can get. Look at that. Oh my god, I'm in Aura Mountains. I've got a fetish for the mountains. There's a streamline in front of me there. Still get them new, still building them like that. Airstream, sorry, streamline, airstream. It does get better again over the other side. You are getting internet here, so I've given up on doing that live shit. It just ain't working. It's a load of rubbish. That Mohab gets quite busy in the summer, so you might want to, if you did want to stay there, uh, maybe book in advance. There is quite a lot of hotels but, uh, and camping and stuff, but uh, still, it does get pretty busy. It's not that big of a town. Like I say, there is some amazing mountains, and they're all the trails are pretty well set out. Uh, last time I was there, I spent the night there, I was talking to a guy who had been up into the, uh, on the trails, he'd hide one of them little Polarises. And, uh, well they're not that little some of them, but uh, he'd had a cracking day he'd said, and the trails were really well signposted, he only got lost, lost the once he said, so there you go, just remember to take lots of water with you and water and what have you and then you'll be right. Somebody's going to come find you if, you if you go missing anyway, if you haven't brought your trail the truck back. A lot of the trail heads, I don't know about here, but in Washington they are. You'll, uh, a lot of the big ones are a bit difficult, like up Baker and places like that. There'll, uh, there'll be a check-in point. You will actually check in before you set off on that trail. So they know you're there, they know where you're going, in case you uh, go missing. You know, see, I am knocking the moors uh, in Yorkshire and that, but this is a little bit bigger. And, you can, and weather can change pretty rapidly, especially this time of year. It can come in hard. And if you're out there miles from anywhere, you can get a bit vicious. Especially if you've got to watch for your, your, your... I don't know what they've got here, whether they've got wolves or not here. I don't think you'll get bear, I'm not sure, but... Uh, you will get rattlesnakes, and then scorpions, and all them bringing horrible little bastards. Pretty, isn't it? Bloody expensive, them things. It's funny how you get a big flat bit of nothing like this, and you get all that lovely mountains, and then you get a nothing bit, and then you get over here. Here, a minute. I'm trying to blag it here, so you all stay with me. Stay with me on this. It's really worth watching. We could always fast forward, anyway. Get out of my way, you're blocking the boot. Look at that. It's sad 
Saturday today, so more tourists than transport. And what have you? There you go. Where's he going? What's going on? Wow! That was a detour, wasn't it? Holy moly! Suggest he keeps his eyes on the road. don't hang about over here. He's doing uh, he's doing there on 70 mile an hour. I'm just doing just over there, uh, yeah. He's doing 70. So it's very rare you really get stuck behind one and one's holding you up. But he's probably got a signal sleet to pick up pulling it so he's he gonna, he gonna be struggling. side of Salt Lake City tonight. That should do me. Look at a lot of salt here. It's bloody icy. Very, very cold in the winter. Now, was that worth hanging into? Well, oh. it gets better. We get closer. Like me, mountain fetish, you will be. There we go. Help. 
Mulling the rod. I dare pull into there because I probably will get out of there, so I'm going to have to go around the corner, I think. on US 191, then take the first right. Yeah, yeah. guys i hope you all enjoyed that wee video there'll be another one that comes up as i get out the other side because it gets really good out the other side as well which you'll be bored with but that's a totally different mountain range which is really weird because uh only about 100 miles from here and it's it's like totally different but that's the way it is catch you all later bye bye